Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install the Iron Cross HD rear bumper on this 2017 Chevy Silverado 2500. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so your first step is going to be to remove your rear bumper. Uh, as you can see, we've already done that. We've had some aftermarket bumpers on and off of this truck already. But if you need help with that, go ahead and reference our how to remove your rear bumper video. All right, next we're going to uh, install our brackets for our Iron Cross bumper. And the L-shaped portion of our bracket is going to fit right inside the frame with uh, the backing facing the outside of the vehicle and the L bracket facing towards the inside of the vehicle. And your kit is going to come uh, with some hardware. We're going to throw a bolt and a washer through the side of the frame, through the bracket, with a washer, a lock washer, and a nut. And we're going to do that on both locations on the side and then also um, through the L bracket on the bottom portion right here as well. All right, now the bottom bolt, we're actually going to use a extension and a socket and feed it through the bottom of the frame, through our hole, and then through our bracket. And that is also going to get a washer, lock washer, and a nut. Go, we'll go ahead and repeat that on the opposite side as well. All right, now we can go ahead and tighten our brackets down uh, using 19 millimeter socket and wrench. And go ahead and repeat that process on the opposite side. Uh, next, we're going to install our trailer plug from our factory bumper. You can see here that there is a hole that uh, conforms perfectly to the back of our trailer plug and that's going to just push right through. And then the metal clips on the sides of the trailer plug is going to help that to lock right in place. As soon as you hear it click, it's good to go. Alright, next we're going to install our license plate light into our bumper. We're just going to feed the wires through the front of the bumper to the back. Uh, making sure that the actual light portion is facing towards where the license plate is going to go. And then that's just going to push in place. Just like that. And from here, uh, you can either uh, use some butt connectors or there, you know, you could solder it together. There's a couple different ways to wire this into your um, into your factory harness, but we're not going to get to that right now. I'll go ahead and repeat that on the opposite side as well. All right, so the next thing we're going to put on is our spare tire access cover. Now the instructions are going to say to use the original clip that you took off your factory bumper uh, and just throw that on the top of this and then just tighten those teeth down to the um, cover. So we don't have that anymore, like I said in the beginning. We've had uh, multiple bumpers on and off this truck and we don't have that retaining clip anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a band clamp and put that snug up against the bottom and tighten that down. And that's actually going to work pretty well to keep that in place. All right, so next we're ready to put on our bumper. You might have to have a couple guys help you do that, lift it up, put it into place, um, and get your hardware loosely installed. Now before you do that, you want to make sure that you're masking off any painted areas that could come into contact with the bumper. You don't want to scratch up your truck putting this thing on. All right, now to install our bumper, we're going to use a bolt and washer, go through our bracket, through the bumper, and on the other side, we're going to use a washer, a lock washer, and nut. We're going to do that on all four locations.
We're just going to leave those hand tight for right now, and then we'll go ahead and align our bumper. Now with our bolts loosely installed, we can go ahead and align our bumper from side to side and up and down. What you want to make sure you look for is that it's not hitting on either side and then you have a little bit of space in case uh, you're off-roading or anything and there's any kind of play in the bumper. You don't want to m mess up any of the paint on your truck. Now when you're good side to side, you want to drop your tailgate to make sure that it's not hitting the bumper anywhere. And then you can raise it up or down depending on your needs and then you can go ahead and tighten all of your hardware down. We're going to use a 19 millimeter wrench and socket. Alright guys, now just make sure you wire in your tag lights and you reinstall your trailer plug. But that's going to complete the installation. If you have any questions, give us a call or visit us online. Thanks.